Well, greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I am Cosmic Kev, your host, and this is for the week beginning Friday, the 23rd of October, extending it to the 30th of October. This is what's happening. All right. Um, let's talk about let's talk about the moon first of all. Where is that moon? Okay, so. We have a moon today in the lunar mansion known as Shravana, or Shravana. And Shravana is um, ruled by the moon. And it's all within the constellation of Capricorn. And Shravana's ruling deity... I think it's Saraswati. I know there's an association with it, but that's not it. But Shravana means to listen. And one of its symbols is the ear. Another one I've heard is an arrow pierced through the ear. Now, Shravana has opposite energies. One is Saturn, which is very long-term, stable, deals with laws, limits traditions, and then the moon. The moon, which is highly unstable, but wants to nurture you and wants to give you a some kind of motherly happiness within all of this. So somehow you mix these two energies together and that's what this moon is like. Um, it's a good moon for poetry. It's a good moon for Listening to a concert, anything oratory goes good, tradition, history, all of this in Shravana. So, in the Western Zodiac, we just say we've got a moon in Aquarius today. And uh, it's been there since 5.17 a.m. <coughs> um, Pacific Daylight Time. All right. So, and beyond that, <clears throat> as far as other planets go, well, we've got ourselves, um, Sun is in Scorpio now. So, Sun went into Scorpio yesterday at um, 4 p.m. in the Tropical Zodiac. And so, what can we say about Scorpio? Well, it's got the highest highs and lowest lows of the Zodiac. And it re rules the reproductive organs. And it can be highly intuitive and, and spiritual. And it's key phrases I create. So there's also a lot of creative energy around Scorpio. And since most Scorpios are, are sidereal Libras anyway, um, this is no surprise. And then we've got, um, we've got Mercury doing its retrograde thing since, uh, since Tuesday the 14th, 13th. And uh, it is in Scorpio. Venus is in Virgo. Mars is, I'm going to say something about Venus this week, yeah, because Venus is actually going to go into uh, sidereal Virgo by the end of this week, and um, <clears throat> that's going to be debilitated Virgo, well, we'll talk more about that next week. Uh, we've got Mars <clears throat> in uh, <clears throat> still retrograde in Aries, uh, Jupiter in uh, Capricorn, and Saturn in Capricorn, Uranus in Taurus, Neptune in Pisces, also retrograde, Pluto also, no, Pluto's direct in uh, Capricorn, and uh, I guess North Node in uh, Gemini, South Node in Sagittarius, in, as far as the um, Western Zodiac goes, but in the Sidereal Zodiac, they are Taurus and Scorpio. Okay. So, sign by sign, we are going to do this right now. And, um, starting with you, Aries. Must have timing here. Okay, 